What's going on guys, Maniacs here, and welcome back to Amnesia Key of Freedom. Now, if you guys remember, actually it was only a couple minutes for me, but last, uh, the other day I should say, uh, we actually finally got to the dining hall, and we're trying to find four crystal shards. We have one of them, so we need to find three more. Uh, also, I've healed myself somehow. Oh, I pro when I died, it probably gave me a little bit of health back, which is nice of the game. January 1883. There is an element of fear creeping into the manor. Every servant is uneasy. Strange phenomena as well as ghost sightings have been reported in the upper rooms. All these years of rumor and speculation have ended. Madam Lydia, including myself, believe that it is the ghost of the late Duke Gregory IV. Although Madam Lydia, surprisingly, does not seem too concerned about it. She was married to him. It is strange to relate. Oh no, this sister. ghostly activity increased soon not after bad. she had her left arm amputated. The amputation seems to have helped little to stop the infection from spreading. Peter is hopeful, though. He seems very fond of Madame Lydia, despite her having lost her arm. Oh, so she has some type of disease, and it's spreading throughout her body. So they thought, okay, well, if we cut her arm off, maybe it'll work. That is a thing that they used to do, because that was all doctors could... No, okay, that door's locked. That was all doctors could think of. I mean... Back then, if you had, like, some disease in your hand or something like that, fuck, cut the whole fucking arm off. It's like, uh, you know, I'd, I'd rather you not cut the whole arm off. Oh, that's a goblet. Bet that thing's worth some money. It's probably solid fucking gold. Take that shit. Alright, this door looks rather large. This door is fucking huge. Why do I look so short compared to that door? God damn. Okay. Cool looking picture. Is that supposed to be the town? That's probably some famous picture I've never heard of. Oh my fucking! <sighs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. About that. How am I going ins- How? How am I going insane in here? Look how fucking bright it is in here. Stop it. I hate that. Seriously, it, it, it is worse in this one than it is- I can probably go in there, but I'm not- Wait, can I- Nope. Okay, that door's locked. Never mind. These are probably famous pictures that I've never heard of. How am I going insane? Do you see how fucking bright it is? This is cool. This is an amphitheater? Stop. Stop it. I don't care. I'll fucking play the whole game insane. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not wasting a goddamn thing. Mm, this game is irritating. This this DLC is irritating the shit out of me. Seriously, the developer turned up the intent. That's cool as hell. That was cool. It startled me at first because it was super loud, but that was cool as fuck. All right, some more oil. Can I sit in this chair? I want to sit in this chair. I am the king now, bitch. That was really cool. I love these red candles, by the way. Ah, there's a giant eagle. Another statue of you. A crystal shard must be very close. There's probably one in here. Can I use the hammer on this? Yep, I can. Oh, he's just going to hammer it out anyway. There it is. Got it. I love this the lighting effect on this. Very cool. All right, so that's two. Uh, I'm going to pop it up. I haven't found any containers that just happen to have oil in them. So I'm assuming all I get in this game are the oil things that I've been using. Perhaps a way to force it open. Oh, memento. There's a door in the main hall that I may be able to force open. Okay. Uh, sorry for bumping the mic. If I use the hammer, will that break it open? Yep. There we go. I'm gonna get chased in this hallway. It is way too bright and not conspicuous. Music is different, too. Sorry, guys. I keep Oh, there's obviously a crystal over there because I can see it glowing. I keep The reason it keeps the mouse keeps moving is because I'm resetting it because this thing is super sensitive. 24 April 18... In two days, we leave Ashbury Manor. This morning, the local government tried to hold another meeting. Yet again, it was interrupted by the ghost. But this time, things got out of hand. The meeting had barely commenced when tables, chairs, and legal documents started flying across the room. Everyone fled in terror, including some of the servants. A quick decision was made by the local government to abandon the manor and dissolve our county into another. All who remain here this evening 
for those of us who are very reluctant to leave, even with all these strange things happening. We have no choice, though. There is nothing for us here anymore. If only Madame Lydia was still with us. Her amputation merely slowed the process of her death. The infection had spread too much. Wow, that was a hell of a jump from... Madame Lydia had her arm cut off to... Okay, Madame Lydia is now dead because the amputation didn't work. Okay, that's a hell of a jump. I'll give you that. There's a glowy over here. What's this? I want I want to inspect you. Ah! Angel of death. In darkness of the night, I spied him in a tree. Sad I froze by the sight. He was looking at me. The summer's heat became a chill. The angel of death at his kill. My heart skipped with the fright. Blinked by eyes to bitter sea. Glanced back with all my night. Potted he by comfy company. My chest was quickly pounding. Still the angel of death at his kill. I did rise and take flight. The fear made me to flee. From darkness into light to free captivity. Unbinding my soul from his will. The angel of death at his kill. Many years since that night. Gazed I on that brazen bee. Mem memories of still. It's a memories of still insight. Fears of my slavery. Existence of him makes me ill. The angel of death at his kill. Oh. There's a button. Well, something opened somewhere. What does it say? I think there's another switch somewhere here in the study. So I probably have to either hit both switches at a certain time or what? Why is this one glowing? Why is this... Yeah. Kind of figured that. That was pretty obvious. I mean, it's the only one that's purple. Ooh, that door is... What's this? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? I now should be able to enter through the door from the other side. Oh! Oh! I bet I... Maybe I have to hide from the monster. Maybe a monster shows up here eventually. Uh. 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 I don't like that. It got incredibly dark. It's so fucking quiet. Fuck you, Switch. Oh, you prick! Ha ha! Fuck it, duh! Okay. Oh. Well, my lantern's broken and I'm insane and I have no oil. At all. Fuck. That's not good. Oh my god, I'm going insane. I can't believe I, I missed something in there. There was another switch somewhere. I should have looked for the actual switch before I went and did what the game wanted me to do. But, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it now. Oh, this is awful. No, it wasn't that door. Which door was it? No wonder this goddamn area was so lit up. What am I... Oh. Thank you, Lydia. I'm assuming this was you. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, she did that so that I could walk down the hallway. Without freaking the fuck out. Okay. See, now I wasted a bunch of my goddamn tinder boxes just doing all that. Is there gonna be like another is there gonna be another lantern out here? That'd be kind of funny. I 
I can't believe they actually just... They, they did. They just took my lantern and was like, fuck you. A door that is north of the entrance hall is unlocked. North of the entrance hall? Would... That one? How do I know that? And I don't know when that note was written. This is the front door. Is it this one? I don't know where north is. I, I don't have a comp... Yep, okay, it's this one. Thank you, Lydia. Alright, this door is unlocked. I wonder, is this the door that I just unlocked from that other side? I mean, I guess that would make sense, even though I have no idea how I reached through there and unlocked it. Also, why couldn't I just crawl through that wood? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, because I was just in there. Okay, it's fucking lit up in there now. That pisses me off, but that's fine. Okay, that door's locked. Door's locked. Is this supposed to be a classroom? That door's locked. Okay. Oh, there's a note over there. I think there's a key next to it as well. Yep. Picked up a rusty key. 25th April, 1883. It is my last day here. I have spent most of my time getting the upper rooms in order. Everyone else has left, but I could not bear leaving the rooms of Lord Gregory and Madame Lydia in the state they were in. Oh, how I miss those two. I had an odd experience today. This afternoon, as I was leaving the lounge, I was startled by one of the suits of armor that had somehow moved to the center of the hallway. It was holding out a note which I cautiously retrieved. The note is addressed to Peter. It was then that I noticed the suit of armor was missing its left arm. I'm not sure what to make of it, but I shall pay a visit to Peter tomorrow after I have left the manor and give him the note. It seems quite important. Oh, so that's why, that's why some of those suits of armor that I've seen that have been helping me, that's why they're missing their left arm. Oh. Because remember, I talked about that. I was like, why is this one missing its arm? That's weird. That's cool. That I did not realize. It didn't even click. But I guess that makes sense because, like I said, she has been helping me this, helping me this entire time. Oh, now I'm outside. I still don't have a lantern. That sucks. This statue is fucking weird and I hate it. It was in the main game too and I do not like it. It's creepy as shit. Should I even be going this far? Maybe I should read mission. Oh, I have to read another note. God damn it. No, I'm just going to go journal. Notes. Okay. When I was younger, I could not do what you're doing for for me right now. I am from a strict family and I was on a tight leash while I was growing up. I see that your father treats you the same way, which probably explains why he has sent you to Darwin Institute for misbehaved youngsters. I understand your frustration. I too had to do things and act in ways that were demanded by my father. But, but by the time he passed away at a ripe old age, I too have aged quite a bit and was not fit enough to hop over a fence to break into the manor myself. Time was not merciful to me, so I do appreciate what you are doing for me, even though you're probably only doing it this for yourself. By the way, I should also mention that the cemetery is also technically part of the estate, even though it has been used by locals in the past. Keep an eye out for the eagle statue. How does he know about the eagle statues? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Rusty key. There we go. There's another door over here. I'm assuming it's just locked. Yep, no, it just doesn't even interact with it. Fucking creepy. God, I hate that statue. This is cool. We're actually going outside. I mean, you never get to do it in the main game. Don't tell me this is a goddamn maze. Also, there's houses all around me. This is cool. Wouldn't there be other people walking around, too? I feel like I'm walking... I don't, I don't feel like I'm... This doesn't feel like a normal path. This is like where water would go through and stuff. How do people get down here? Fuck off, Al. This is a warning. For your own safety, do not enter the cemetery at nighttime unless you have a source of light. Jeremy, the gravekeeper. Well, I don't have a source of light, so let's go see what horrible... 
Jeremy, I understand what you're talking about. Don't have a, I don't have a light source though, so you know we'll just go insane. What am I supposed to do? The game took my light source away. I can't do anything about it. Love hearing the whispers. There's a house over here. Can I actually go inside of it? Oh, I can. Hey, Jeremy, you home? Buddy, can I borrow a lantern real quick? I promise I'll bring it back, you know, sometime. Maybe. Possibly. 18th November, 1878. This is my fourth day here as the new gravekeeper. Finally, a comfortable career. No more hard construction work, no more heavy lifting, and most importantly, no more garbage collecting. My responsibilities are fairly trivial, like trimming the bushes and showing people to their deceased loved ones. In fact, the hardest thing about this job is when I'm occasionally required to dig a hole in preparation for a new grave. But that's not why I've decided to start writing in my new journal. No, the Duchess herself, Madame Lydia, came over to visit me. She asked me if I could find her a spot for a new gravesite. She even supplied her own coffin and tombstone. A stunning tombstone, I must say. A well-crafted cross with a brilliant carving of an eagle. I asked her who it was for, but she said it was for no one. After I have helped her with finding a suitable location and her men have placed the tombstone and buried the coffin, she just left. That's it. Went back into her mansion. Okay, perfect. I just have to find that gravestone. I keep forgetting. I keep clicking the wrong button. A crystal shard could be hidden in the coffin buried underneath the... Okay, so it obviously... Oh. What is with people in runes? Oh, there's more notes. 26 November, 1878. Okay. Boy, do I have an interesting story to tell. This morning, a couple of men brought in a body of Harold Donnelly. I was told that he, would you believe it, was found in the attic right above Madame Lydia's bedroom. They found him all tied up in rope whilst hanging upside down. Apparently, the reason why the body was found in the first place was because Lydia herself complained about a stench in her room. I also heard another rumor that she used to keep rope next to her bed that she used for outdoor activity and games. But one day, she couldn't find her beloved rope. But now, here it is, wrapped around the constricted body of Harold. Is there a murderer in our midst? Well, I'm now left to clean up the mess. Unfortunately, Harold's family couldn't afford a coffin or a tombstone. But you know what? I'm going to be a good Samaritan this time. There is that empty coffin that Madame Lydia buried here. Apparently, the coffin only holds a small glass shard. I could just push it aside. There's plenty room for a body. That's not your choice. 13th of April, 1893. I am shaking even as I write. Where to begin? Earlier this evening... On my way back to my house, I noticed that much of the cemetery has been disturbed. Someone has broken down a few of the trees and shrubbery, and three tombstones have fallen over. I continued exploring the cemetery, and to my dismay, I discovered the grave of Harold has been robbed. Or at least that's what I thought. I opened the coffin, and to my horror, the body was gone. The glass shard was still in it, though. I noticed some tracks leading out of the cemetery. It seemed to be headed towards Ashbury Manor. I decided to follow them, and when I approached the river, I saw the decomposed body of Harold limping towards the mansion. It was hideous and frightening, so much so that I froze and just stood there like a petrified coward. It was foolish of me, but fortunately, the beast disappeared, and I ran back to the cemetery. This grave was tainted, but I was too afraid to do anything about it. I decided to close the coffin and bury it again. Well, that's what happens when you put a dead body in with a glass shard. I mean, when the the head of the entire, you know, county, I guess you could say, shows up to you and is like, Hey, I want to bury this gem. That's it. That's all I want to do in this super exquisite thing. Okay, bye. That doesn't mean put a goddamn body in it. Obviously, something's fucked up with it. But anyway, I will explore 
the actual graveyard. We'll find it and we'll head back to the manor. I'm curious if that is the person that I keep seeing that keeps coming after me. But anyway, we'll explore more of that next time. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Check out the video. Check out, check out the video. Check out the link in the description if you guys want to download this game for yourself. This particular story, I should say. It's pretty good so far. I, I learned something like the whole thing with the arm and the armor and whatnot. That's really cool. I'm curious to see if that's going to come up more. If Lydia is going to show up and I'm going to say she's going to say thank you or something. I have no idea, but we will find out next time. Maybe I have no I have no idea how long this is. So again, thank you all for checking out the video. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out.